Hello, Brandon? Hello? Hello, Brandon? Hey. Hey, how you doing? This is Sam McClain. Welcome to the podcast. We're just going to jump right into it, okay? Okay. Hey, I know you're extremely busy, and I want to thank you for just giving us a little bit of your time. Um, I know you guys are on tour. How's the tour going so far? The tour? Oh, um, we just wrapped it last night, actually. Okay. Um, we tried the, I mean, like, we've been setting this thing up for a while and have some scheduling, um, full pause. But I did get a chance to see you guys at PJ Logger House. And cool. I, I love what I saw. But it, it was good, but it was different good. Um, anyone who knows you guys, um, you know, you just followed off Blood Sweat, but it was a little bit more of a stripped down sound with the new album. Um, the new album by night. Sorry, I forgot to say the name of the album. Um, what do you contribute to that? Um, well, I think, actually, I think Blood Sweat's more stripped down. I think there's more textures involved with by night. Actually, um, more in the more in the um, atmosphere. So um, yeah, uh, well, by night I got, and I'm not disagreeing. I'm just telling you from that night is is arena ish, if for lack of a better term, and more of a less is more vibe. You know what I mean? Uh, more arena ish. Is that what you said? Like a less is more vibe. Right. Oh yeah. Well, with oh, like well, when we play them live, it's kind of it's obviously different than the record. So mm -hmm. yeah, I could I could see where you're coming from there, for sure. Well, I'm glad you brought up the album. Um, the album itself, well, once again, sounds a little bit different. Um, I like yeah. it, but I gotta know what happened. It's three years, man. Um, dude. Uh, we just, you know, we've been touring off and on, and, you know, we're just, we're trying to find time in those three years, like, we've just been touring and waiting for the right, like, moment, and waiting till we had the right amount of songs, and we just took our time with it, like, because it had to be perfect. Makes so, sense. um, you know, getting together and writing is kind of, is not as easy as it used to be when we were younger because we all have jobs and trying to stay afloat and trying to survive. Um, so we were, you know, we found a studio in town. We, you know, put up money for it and we would go there every night and we'd write and we wrote like 20, 20 30 songs. And then, uh, yeah, waited for John Connelton to be available, a producer. And um, yeah, man. It's funny you brought that up because that was actually one of my uh, next things. You guys grew up together, and you guys were a band since high school. Am I? Do I got that correct? We grew up together, and we were friends that were all we were all in different bands, and uh, we just like those bands broke up. And you know, I remember just hanging out with Luke one night, our, my drummer, and we're just like, dude, let's start a band. And let's get Jay, and then let's get Mike, and there it was. Um, alright, let me jump back into the album a little bit. It just it's funny that you said that and it made me think of it. Uh but yeah. like the lead single, New Come Down, that opens the record, right? Right. I mean you're you said you had to be perfect and it does fit the record very perfect to open with that. How did you know that that was gonna be the one that kick start the next album? I um well we kinda of, when you're picking the track list, you kind of like we were all sending different track lists to each other once we had the record done. And uh, that song just kind of has a more, it's it just, it was just like that piece of the puzzle. You know, like when you're building something, it's just, that's the foundation. So it just came, came to be that way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Some things just don't really like, I can't really be explained. It's just kind of like, when you're throwing around so many different track lists and it's just like, okay, this one works, let's go with this. So. Hey, one thing I will say, um, if it's, if everything you just did was based off instinct, 
great instincts, um, mainly because you get a chance to see it on the album. I were fortunate enough to see you guys live. You got more of a, you got a good front man vibe, uh, more of a, I don't know, hodgepodge of Josh Homme mixed with a little Brandon Flowers. Um, is that some of the people that kind of influence you, or is it just all instinct? Man, I'm really glad that you said Josh Homme because no one's ever said that. Really? <laughs> no, um, everybody, honestly, everybody says, every, like, no one ever says the same thing. So, but I've never gotten Josh Homme, and I love Josh Homme, so I'm really glad you said that. Oh, <laughs> oh thanks, man. It's, it's Okay, well, let's just go right in the moment. When, like, you're compared to people you look up to, um, how does that make you feel, or are you influenced by it, or does it just wash away? Yeah, or? man. I I listen to um, a lot of rock and roll, and I listen to pretty much everything as much as I possibly can. And obviously, Josh Homme, you know, Queens of the Stone Age, Iggy Pop, and then the Little Joy Division, and then like, of course, like the Doors, and then of course, like all the classics, and then all this like new stuff that's coming out of course like so you know i listen to some of that too so um but you know growing up listening to like red hot chili peppers and nirvana um everything has an influence on my stage presence and even like james brown um and like you know stuff like that so and little richard and stuff like that so um but it means a lot when someone i can make somebody like you know I don't mind being compared to anyone. <laughs> well, if you got to be compared to someone. Eventually, like, I'd like it to be like, oh, that's just Brandon's style. <laughs> well, yeah, this is how, well, unfortunately, you got to be compared to someone first, and then you break off into your own thing. Yeah, I'm totally down with that. And when you hear that, like, when I listen to both albums, yeah, there are some influences from... 60s, 70s punk groups, and you can see the little flares coming from not just you, but all you guys. So, yeah, I would imagine that would, you know, when you listen to something over and over again, it kind of works its way into, you know, like osmosis or something. It kind of works its way into what you're doing. No, for sure. No question. Now, one thing I love about both albums, but I think it was way more prevalent in By Night, was atmospheric. Um, things right. it seemed like every song to some degree had a undercurrent of it's happening at night was that intentional or did it just come off that way we wrote all those songs at night and uh i mean i came up with that title by night in the studio because it was just like you know it made sense like everything we play shows at night we got together at night um and nothing really cool happens during the day, so. Mm, yeah, when well, you're right, you're right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're right. I mean, like, but one thing about this album, as well as others, but since we're talking about By Night, humor plays a lot in the roles, whether it be dark humor, whether it be lyrics. Wait, what did? Humor. Funny. Like, right. uh, a lot of your lyrics have, um, we talk about albums and producers and stuff like that, but maybe comedians play a role in kind of how you're influenced too? Do they? Man, I mean, they totally do. Um, again, no one's ever brought that up. That's really interesting. I um, do my homework, sir. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I grew up, like, you know, listening to George Carlin, um, Andy Kaufman, um, the sad guy that's really, he, he's, uh, he passed away. Um, oh, he was so cool. I can't think of his name right now. Mitch he Edward? wore glass. Yeah. And, um, you know, and then I got up, like, watching, like, Jim Carrey. Um, but yeah, no one's ever brought up a sense of humor in my lyrics, but, um, yeah, man. I, when I'm writing them, I'm kind of just trying to entertain myself. At the same time, as like, you know, impress my bandmates, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and try to, like, you know. But it's, it's been really crazy so far with the shows we've been playing. Um, we played a sold-out show here at home last night at Echo, and a lot of people were singing all the words to the, to the new record, and that's, that's a trip for me. 
How did it but yeah, comedians, a comedian, yeah, man, like, I have a sense of humor, and I guess I'm happy to find out today that it comes through in my lyrics. That's great. Oh, yeah, it does. You play, and that's kind of what I was getting to. You just ended the tour, but you ended with the home show. How does that feel, playing for the hometown crowd? How was it? Is it intimidating? Um, it's not intimidating, but once, like, we've been looking forward to this show since we left over a month ago for tour. And everyone and, and all the bands that we went on tour with, they were all talking about, and the LA show, the LA show, it's gonna sell out, it's gonna sell out, it's gonna sell out. And it's sold out, and I've been to this venue to Echo so many times and just to see everybody out there, like, it was packed. And I was just like, I didn't really feel intimidated, but it was just, I wanted everyone to have a good time, and everybody had a good time, so it was awesome. Okay. Well, look. Yeah. Um, when you're coming you. off a tour run, it's like, you just do it. It's like motor skills. You just do it. I can hear. You know? And I mean, like, even for, it's like a learned memory, muscle memory, if you will. Right. Because even though you're not thinking, you're in the moment. I hope that makes sense. No, I'm totally in the moment. I'm having the time of my life. All right. Now, let's compare that to right now. Now that you're off tour, you just got right. off tour. How do you feel now? <laughs> I feel great. Um, it's good to be home. It's good to be with my girlfriend. Um, missed her so much. So, That's you know, cool. just, it's, it's nice to, like, have our time and, you know, hang out and, you know, go to the beach and hang out with pets and eat pizza. <laughs> eat Chinese. Like, you know, like, when you're home, you know where all the bomb, I know where, like, all the bomb places to eat are. So, exactly. I'm looking forward to eating. Because <laughs> yeah, I don't really, eat, I don't really eat on tour. I don't have an appetite. I don't know if it's like a stress thing or what, or like a homesick thing. But I just, I eat when my bandmates eat because, like, okay, I guess I'll eat. It's really weird. <laughs> I get it because you're in a new place. You don't really know where anything is. You don't know what's good, yeah. what's bad. So you yeah. probably stick to the old favorites. You just eat whatever is there, and then Taco Bell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get that. I I totally understand. Hey, yeah. Brandon, thank you so much for calling into the podcast. It's giving us a little bit of your time. We wish you much success on the album. My only criticism, man, don't wait another three years, man. I like this album, and I know. And if I saw what I saw in person, oh, I know you got a whole lot more in that brand of yours, man. Hell yeah, dude. Um, well, I'm, thank you, man. This is the best. This is a really good one. Oh man, I appreciate that. Have a great one. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes I do. We do these interviews, and I think like they don't really want to talk. <laughs> but dude, we should do a we should do a longer one sometime. Hey, I'm down whenever you down, man. We... All right, cool. I'll, um, I'll let I'll let them know. Just let them know, and then we can do it. We can oh. do it, or we can do it. Hey, that's fine. I'd love to sit down with all you guys, talk about new projects, talk about what it was exactly being on the road, and, you know, whatever. If you just want to chop it up, yeah. we'll do that, too. Are you, in, are you in Cali? Oh, no, I'm in Detroit. That's where I said, like, we did okay. the whole thing and the scheduling and the, and yeah. the back and forth, and we finally got oh. a chance to connect, and now I oh. feel good. Well, I'm going to let them know that you're ice cold and you're good. <laughs> Appreciate that, man. And right All now, right. I'm going to say this because, like, I care. You just go off the road after God knows how long. Man, get some sleep. Get some pizza. I'm, get some sleep. Chill with that girlfriend of yours. And we'll chop it up next time, man. All right, brother. Take care. All right. All right, later. Bye.